Hey, let's talk about the Wainui two lot subdivision that got a slab poured this morning. I'm actually in the office and there's a green screen behind me. You probably already picked that. Uh, believe it or not, I'm not Superman and I can't be in five places at once. So to get around all the sites, Sam has been cruising around with our construction manager while I'm signing up some new jobs. Anyway, let's jump back into it and give you a quick update of what's been happening. So last time we were on site, we had put the piles in and they had just been cut to height. It's been a wet, muddy site and the boys have been flipping around. It is slowly but surely getting a little bit more tidy and controlled and flat and level and in general becoming a building site that we can start building homes on. Down the back end, lot two is a little bit more complicated and we have had to build two more retaining walls and we are now cutting out for a footing for a block wall. So the boys are making cages for the footing. Cages are basically, you have like a stirrup which goes down and up. The engineer will specify they need to be like 300 apart, 600 apart, and they need to be a certain thickness. A cage is basically just a line of stirrups that are held together and then that's held in place. And then we pour concrete. And then from that, the block layer can use those to form his wall. So the difference between concrete and steel is that concrete is good at taking load, but it's not structurally strong. So we put steel in concrete so that you combine the strength of steel with the load bearing capabilities of concrete. This stage can be really complicated because you don't have any firm lines to build off yet and you're kind of like digging out the earth and you are got to hold the steel in place while you pour the concrete. It's often a phase of the build that a lot of builders struggle with. Uh, we call it getting out of the ground. Getting out of the ground is a major achievement because once you're out of the ground and you have a concrete floor to work on, you have like a solid, flat, level surface that's square, that's dimensionally correct. And then building the rest of the house from there is a little bit like clicking a Lego set together. But going from bare piece of dirt to foundations complete, there's an art and a knack to it. It often feels like two steps forward, one step back. Right up the back of the build here, we've got three big poles. This is an example of doing your landscaping plan first and understanding that these are actually for a pergola that is hanging off the back of the build. You can see this in the plan here. And what we worked out is we are never ever gonna get a digger back up the top here and drill these holes and get the concrete up here. So we might as well do that now while we've got a digger on site, while we've got a drill on site, while we've got a concrete pump on site. So we've set these in place, we've had to do all this off string lines and fingers crossed they're in the perfect spot for when we've built the house and we go to build the pergola. So on the front lot, before we started doing the foundation, we got the plumber in. The plumber has put in the subfloor drain. Basically, subfloor drains is anywhere you've got a sink, a shower, a toilet, any kind of water, it needs to go down a drain, right? Well, if we're pouring a concrete slab, 
you want the drain to be under the concrete slab and you want it to be going to the drain. So all of that drainage gets run before we even start the concrete work. That's called subfloor drainage. That gets inspected to make sure it's holding water. It's thick PVC piping that is designed to stand the test of time. There's also a tolerance. Anywhere where the drainage comes up through the slab, there'll be a sleeve that gives it a 25 mil tolerance that allows for any movement in the slab so that the drains don't get busted up. Since then we've gone and prepared lot one, ready for foundations. We've boxed up the slab, pods are in, it's been inspected, and concrete is being poured as we are talking. So our two lots in the back of Wainui is coming together. The guys are doing an amazing job on site. We're gonna treat them like two separate houses. And now that we've got a foundation poured on lot one, we can start frames on that. While the boys are out back, uh, do the footings and the block wall. Basically, we're gonna do whatever we can to progress the site forward. If you're enjoying this site update and would like to know more about our other sites, go ahead, click subscribe, keep following along.